Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Angela the Traveling Crafter and Merry Christmas. Uh, I hope you are spending it doing something fabulous with your friends and your family and enjoying the spirit and the reason for the season. So we're going to do something kind of fun. This is kind of a throwback to last year's December Daily on one of my fairy my very favorite projects that I did. And I'm going to explain how I did those and we're going to create, I have a few in various stages, but before we do that, a shout out to all of you who are new. Welcome to the party. And for all of you who are returning, thanks for being here. I appreciate you very, very much. What are you going to need? Well, you're going to, <clears throat> not actually necessary is the scoreboard but some cutting utensil, whether it's scissors or a trimmer, uh, some paper punch. You are going to need, this is my scoring tool that I'm going to use. Uh, I have some uh, eyelets. I have some twine. I got my scissors. I've got some additional twine because I didn't know which one I wanted to use on this one. These, you could instead use your eyelets. These are called 3M tie-downs. I've had them for a long time. I got them on a haul. Um, <clears throat> they're kind of cool. So we're going to use those, and that's what this little sheet is for. I've got some uh, seam binding that I dyed that's also, um, you don't have to use seam binding, whatever you wish to use as a tie. And then I have... My paper I already cut for this one, and I also have these little uh, cello bags. Now, mine are kind of decorative, but think what you've got around your house. If you've got things that, um, packaging that things have come in, use those. So I just have some various different ones that um, I can close up. That's all you're going to need. Now, what are we going to create? Well, this is what I created last year. And I, I don't know, I really, I really liked it if I don't say so myself. So what I did is, it was so simple, but I know it looks kind of complicated, but it really isn't. So <clears throat> I just used those tie downs. Oh, I lost a little flapper there uh, to make this piece right here to hold everything inside of it. Now, last year we used index cards and... Um, what do you call those things? Rolodex cards. Those are the two things that I did projects on in each one of my videos. You can go back. There's a December daily playlist. You can see all of the videos. There's some really fun ones. So I wanted <clears throat> this to house my index card. After I cut this, I realized I wanted something more. Now imagine, uh, you know, if you're like my kids, they like gift cards and money and things like that. And so it doesn't usually come, you know, well, just giving it to them in a card is not so much fun. But also think happy mail, ephemera holder. Uh, so you open this up do, do, do. and inside on this side, I've got two little bags with some ephemera to show you. I've got a little notepad and then another little ephemera holder right under here. Super easy to make, and I'm going to show you how. So let's get started. All right, we're going to put this aside, and I have two others in various stages of completion that we will, if we've got time, we will finish up. Oh, I already cut this. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> oh, well, I still need to cut other things, but all right, let's put these aside. These are the papers that we're going to cut down to go uh inside. I forgot to tell you, you might want some extra papers to use as your notepad. Okay, so here we go. Let me just tell you what you're going to need. Can you guys see that? Well, so I, for my one piece that I'm going to wrap around or uh, this piece, I need it to be 12 inches by five inches. So depending on how you're wanting this to look, Let's see, mine might be a little bit. This is actually six. Let's see, is one of them five? I'm okay with making them six, but 
Is that going to make a big... Oh, I know why I did that this way. Because I'm going to use this one without an index card. Because not everybody has index cards, right? Okay, so... All right, this one has this on the back and these I Love School lunch boxes. This one has pencils, so it's non-directional too. So let's just do this at 6 by 12 because a lot of you are going to be, I mean, if you just cut it in half, you can use pretty much all of the things, I think. I think we'll be just fine. So I'm going to use this as my directional piece, and this is what it looks like on the back. So in order to do that, I want to then score this. Now I'm scoring mine at one and three quarter and um, on one end from one and three quarters and from one end at two inches. So the easiest way for me to do that is just do this here. Did that go through? Yeah. All right, and then go over here and do my two inch thing. Now, let me just grab this so we can see because we're, yeah. So see that will fit right in there, no problem. If you're using the actual file folder, okay? If you don't have one, we're gonna create one. All right, so once you have that done, you're just going to fold this down. It's not, not too hard. I like uh, the finished look of having the corners rounded. So I'm gonna do that. The most time is spent in doing the little ephemera pocket, but it's still pretty easy. I I made these prototypes a while ago. I probably I probably should have uh, maybe uh, walked through it before I turned on the camera. But oh well. Okay, so now we need to figure out um, how big we want. Because I'm not using the pieces. What is that? Five and an eighth. Five and an eighth by eight and a quarter. We'll just say it's eight and an eighth. But <clears throat> I want it to be, I want to give myself, I want to make that. So I'm going to use this as a template. So let's see, five and a half. All right. So now we need to get a piece that we want to go. I'm trying to decide which one I want. I think this one because it's directional. So we want this to be I'm just going to cut this out. No, I'm not. Let's just mark it and cut it. And I'm just going to cut it. There we go. All right. Get my water bottle out of the way. So what I'm creating right now is my index card. <clears throat> Save this. It's important. And we want this to be right there. Ooh, that paper doesn't seem like it's straight. All right. Save that. We might want to use it for something. And then I am just going to... The easiest way to do this is just... To now, I could have done this. I could have flipped it the other way and had the tab at the top, but that's okay. All right, there we go. Garbage, garbage. All right, that's what we got. Let's set this aside. You don't have to do that little tab. I just kind of thought it was cute. All right, so now this is going to go inside of here. And everything is going to get housed in there. So that is good. We can set that aside. Now we need to talk about this little guy. So where's my template? Let me show you so you know what we're aspiring to. 
what we need to do, this one's taller. Um, I think I, because I used a third page. All right, but we're gonna do this. Make sure, let's make sure before we get all carried away here that these are all gonna, yeah, when they're folded, will they still be okay? Eh, that's a little bit long. Let's see, let's make sure we have the right ones. That one folded up will be fine, okay. So we'll put that one over there. Um, and then, of course, one of these will be fine. So I need that one, so there's two. And what else do we have here? This one, maybe? All right, I think those three will work. We'll put the rest of them over here to use in the other ones. All right. So now we need to score this piece at the top so that it comes down and folds over. And this was, I scored this, I believe, at a half an inch. Yep, half an inch. So I'm just going to score it right here. turd. Hold on. I was like, what is she doing? That is my headband, young lady. Well, she just did half the work for me. That uh, was a headband that I was going to redo. So she's, she's taking it apart. Thank you so much there, Ruby. All right. I'm going to go, I'm going to go five eighths. Give it a little bit more of a lip. Okay. And you're just going to fold this down. Now, do we need... Do we need this anymore? I don't think we do. Oh, I forgot to cut this down. Shoot. This needs to be 10 inches. Sorry. I got distracted. All right. Sorry about that. We need... Because we need this piece in a minute. All right. Now fold it down. And now fold it in half. Ooh. That's not. I'll show you how to make sure we don't have so much bulk here in a second. Because that's a little bit annoying. All right, now we're going to open it back up. I'm going to flip this out like that. And we're simply just going to cut a little V on either side of that line to give this some space to move. All right, that is our first flap. Now let me show you on the finished product so you can see where we're going with this. So what I did is each one of these are, let's see, can you tell? I'm pulling it apart. But this one is glued to the top of here, so to this flap. And then, see, but I knew that was gonna happen because I just unglued it basically. And then this one, I made another little one to tuck in there to make as the second flap. Now i got to glue it back in. It's okay. All for the sake of showing you what we're working on. And I just glued it to the top there. You don't have to worry about it once it's down. I mean, it's fine just the way it is. And then this one, um, same thing. Okay. All right, you're all better now. So now we need to take a couple of these and we've got some choices here. Let's see, we need two. So I think we should be able to do, <clears throat> let's see, how much is this? This is two. Let's just go an inch because once folded, it's gonna be a half an inch. All right. And then to make your life easier, if you've got a scoreboard, score this at a half an inch. Each one of them. Ooh, that looks smaller. Well, we're gonna see what happens. Hmm. Yeah, 
Now that's significantly smaller, but we're going to try it. All right, now I want those to hang out. Not that you really see them. All right, now I think we're done scoring for a minute. I've got another one in it. Uh, it's probably, some, well, maybe it doesn't need some work on it. I don't know if it needs scoring. Okay, so let's go ahead and first we need to put together our notebook because that's going to go here. So let me just show you. This is going to go at the bottom. Oh, that's still kind of long. That's going to go here. This is going to go here. On this one, guess what? We're just going to do the notebook. Where are my notebook pages? There they are. So now we got to figure out how wide and how tall we want these. Now, I have different papers of varied sizes. Where's that there? I don't know what I'm going to use. Do I want to use this? I don't think so because it's heavy cardstock. Okay. All right. So I've got one, two, three, four, and I got five pages. All right. The smallest one is this one on the top. Let's make sure that this fits. It needs to be cut down a little bit. Here I just said I did. I didn't need this. And I do. These are thin enough that I think we can just cut cut through all of them at the same time. All right, so first of all, yep, that width is fine. So I hope you guys are all doing something fun. I'm curious, what are your traditions? Like, what things do you like to do on Christmas Day? We spend Christmas Day at my parents' house. Eating lots of food, playing lots of games, just hanging out with the fam. All right, I'm cutting a little bit of, off of that just to make it a little bit shorter. Whoa! Is that going to be enough? Let's see. just right. Now, I kind of like how the vellum's on the top, but what I did on the rest of them, do I want to just leave them all the same? Yeah, we'll just leave them all one way. On the, some of the rest of them, I flipped them back and forth. You know, one was top up, but, and then I just put three little staples in here. Now we can. I'm just gonna leave this. We're gonna need this board sooner than later. So now all you're gonna do is glue this in. Now, if I were putting a bag underneath here, I would have needed to do this one underneath first, but I'm not, so we're good. I'm gonna stick these paper clips on here just to keep them together while I do the other one. So far, pretty easy, huh? Okay. I see garbage. All right, so on this one, we want to do the bottom layer first. So let's go ahead and trim this one down. And truthfully, we can trim it down I'm just leaving a little bit on either side. And that should be good. Use that for a tab, it can go in the... All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue right here on top. And you could also staple these if you wished. Make sure it's sort of even. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna hold that down for a second and then I'm gonna glue the back of this all the way down. So let's do that. Yeah, 
these make great Happy Mail holders. They're perfect. The reason I did this one is because I'm doing that school days, um, the school days journal. And I think it will be fun to put some of the extra ephemera to send along with the journal when I'm finished. Okay, so now that's down there. Now this needs to just go kind of in the middle. Oh, make sure it's on the, the opening's on the right side. Uh-oh, did I do that wrong? <gasps> no. Well, it's fine. I can still make it work, but it's easier if it's on this side. This one is. Do as I say, not as I do. Pay attention before you put it down there. Oops. All right, now I'm going to just place that kind of in the middle-ish. More so in the middle of the bag versus the... Make sure it's pushed all the way up there. And then I'm going to put these on here for safe safekeeping for a minute. Make sure that gets all pushed down. There you have it. So we have a notebook on this side, and then we have our two little packages. Uh, again, this was a little bit thin, so I didn't do the third one, and that pocket was longer. So, therefore, so this is pretty much done. Then you can decorate it however you want. So what we end up with right now um, is what we've got here. So now the what needs to happen is we need to uh, do some... eyelets and some, well, here, let's do this part first because it's the easiest part. The way these little guys work. Now, I double, I doubled up on these. So, what you do is they come with these little tabs from 3M and you simply put it on here. You simply put it on here <laughs> and then it comes off. But to me, that didn't seem like it was quite secure enough. So I also used glue. I mean, if you're gonna be taking things off of it. Well, obviously 3M thought that it would be okay. I don't even know if they make these anymore. So maybe, maybe that didn't work out. <laughs> All right. So right at three inches is where we're going to place this. So I'm going to just put a dot of glue there. That's halfway between the two. Push that down really good. And I'm going to do the same here. And then we're just going to let that dry because we don't want to put any string on it until it's nice and solid. And then I don't know if you can see this, but essentially here, let me just show you on this one. So do you see those little teeth, if you will? Your string pops right in there. I mean, it can come out, but... And so I think I tied a knot in it, but that's how they how they go in there. All right, let me push this down just a little bit better. And then set that aside to dry. And <clears throat> now we need to put in, ooh, you know. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. So now we need to punch holes in this for our eyelets. Where'd my, there it is. And we just need to use the small hole on here. Just want to make sure it's far enough in. I know that's hard to see. I'm sorry. Oh, that was that one was pretty close. Yikes. All right, now let's use our eyelets. 
Where is she getting those things? Ruby. She got another one. Where is she finding these things? Girl. All right. And now we're just going to... Oh, she gone. Come on back. Forget buying her bones. Just buy her Dollar Tree headbands for Christmas. I'll let her take them apart for you. That plastic can't be good. All right, one more. Ooh, that one is close. All right, that is done. Now, I did, did I round the corners on? No, I did not. Okay, so that is done there. Now we got to add our... We might only need one piece of this. <clears throat> Seam binding, here we come. Now you can use anything. You can use ribbon. You could use string. You don't even have to close it if you don't want to. And the thing that with, with this one, I probably, if I were to do do this again, uh, I would probably make, if I'm just using one piece of 12 by 12, well, no, wait, I used, did I use, I used two pieces. Um, I must have put the other one, the other sheet away. I don't know what I did with it. Uh, I would probably make the top flap piece a little bit. I can use one. That should be plenty. I finally got more seam binding ordered. Well, I ordered some and it was the wrong size, which I'm going to use it anyway. Um, but it was much more narrow. And I thought I ordered the right one because there, there were choices. But I didn't. It was like, I don't know, maybe this is a half inch, I think. It was smaller than that, so it's very petite. It's tying, and I didn't. I did not tie a knot in here. I just tied one single loop because it's not coming out of there. Okay, and then we'll just tie this up. Actually, we won't tie it up. We'll just leave it like that for now. Well, no, I'll tie it up. <laughs> and. I think our little tabby things are dry. Yeah, so see, I could have made this one shorter because this is going to be a little, you know, it's just fitting in there. So it probably would have been best if I did it the other way. Now, I have this yellow that I really kind of like. But we're going to have to do some stuff to it. Where's that one? Look at that. First time I found it. So I'm just searing the end of it. So it doesn't come undone. And let's just hope that this is dry enough. Let me just wrap it around. Wrap it around. And wrap it around. And then it is done. How cute is that? I'm going to leave a little bit of extra edge to it. And let's light this bad boy on fire. And voila! There you go. Now I can decorate it. And I also have this extra piece. I could also put this in there too. You could keep filling it up with all kinds of fun things. So that one is done. Let's see where we are with these other ones. And if we can use... Uh, this one, I think, already has the... Let's see, where are we at with this? Let's just put this stuff... Oh, yeah, I'm quite a ways on this. Okay, so we've got 
This is an extra piece, and this one goes... This one's a little bit bigger than the flappy thing, but I kind of like that. So we're going to keep it like that. Why not use it all up? And then inside of this one... And on this, I think what I'll do is just put something right here. And I think I'm just, I'm going to leave the rest of it. They're too pretty like this. I think I'll just leave the rest of them. So here's what this one looks like. I've already put the eyelets in. So there, here are my papers. And then underneath here is a cello bag. And then I've got two right here. All right, so you are done. This one's probably don't need this long of a piece of seam binding, but that's okay. All right, so let's take this out while we put these on. Uh oh, there we go. All right, so now we need to see here. I love this. This is. Um, <laughs> yeah. It is. What am I? What's her name? I don't know. I don't know. It's too early for me to be thinking about that. Oh, I need to watch my time too. I have a meeting at. In a little while, should probably pay attention. So two and a half, we need to have this at. So we're at five. I don't think that's quite where it's supposed to be. Well, it's going there. It's fine. And then we'll have to wait for this to dry. I really like these things. I do, I do not use them as much as I could. I don't, as I should. I don't think about it. I do have one more that we can put together that's a little bit different than these that I just showed you. Come on now. So let me put this up here while I'm trying to get this off of. So one piece. This is the standard, standard one. 12, 12 by 5. That's the wraparound. That's this piece. You're going to score it at one and three quarters and two inch one and three quarters on one end and two inches on the other. The two inches is on your top. So if you have directional paper, you're gonna want to pay attention to that. My index card was eight by five and a half, and then I cut around it to make the tab. Um, you could just make it at five if you if you would rather and not do that tab. Entirely up to you. Okay, now we're gonna set that aside to dry, and then when we're done, I'm gonna just put this all together. Um, where's my string? Right here. That I can do off camera. So we got two, two done. Um, the ephemera pack was um, the original, which is the exact correct size. I remember I adjusted this one. I'll measure it for you again. Is 10 by seven and a half. So this is your half, okay? All right, the last one. Oh, and I have these two. I think I'll pop those in there too as little extra cards. And then your notebook, you're just going to size as however you wish to have it. And then we've got all of these extras. That one we can probably put in the school days one. And we'll put these in the scraps. Okay. I'm trying to clean up here a little bit. All right, we still need this. And this one, let's look at this one. This one I did with wallpaper, you know, one of my favorite mediums. So I've got, whoa, that's really thin string, but I think it'd be okay. 
All right, let's move those. This is my notebook. Oh, except I did this one different, so I don't know if that's going to work. We will find out. Okay, so on this one, uh, what do I have? I got a whole bunch of stuff. This one I have, I do have the index card. So let's go ahead and cover this. That's nice because only the letter's on one side. But if you want the letter, leave that, let that show. So we're just going to cover this with the wallpaper. So if you have these, it makes it really easy. But if you don't, just use some cardstock like I did on the first one. And you will be just fine. This is non-directional. It's not quite perfectly straight. I'm going to go ahead and cut around this. I think it'll be fine, even though it's kind of wet. done. Perfect. Now this one, this should stick out away. Yes. Perfect. All right. But I want to do some rounding up corners on this. What did I do? I think I did. Um, the pocket, you know what? We might as well just put these on. Are these Well, we shall soon find out. I just want that to be. Let's just put them on so it's done. Oops. And that can dry. So, yeah, when you guys uh, see this, so my goal was to try to get um, everything through the first of the year done by the 20, um, well, whatever Saturday is, the 23rd. Uh, so I could just spend some time with my family and not feel rushed. I also have a lot of listings to do in the maker's market. And if you haven't popped over there to join us, Take a second to do that, and if you have somebody who is an artist or maker of some sort and they would like to sell their wares, anything from candles to art supplies to watercolor paintings, quilts, crochet, whatever, if they're an artist and a maker, they're welcome to join, but uh, it's kind of a fun place. I've... I'm also going to be spending that time. I've got my preliminary goals for next year overall, but um, specifically I want to work on some for the maker's market, some fun things that we're going to do um, just to really take advantage of that platform as being something more than just a place to buy and sell things, right? Because that's the whole intent. It's a place of community. So we're going to do some fun, fun things. And you've probably heard me mention that we're going to have like a virtual, you know, retreat. So for a day, we'll, we'll just hang out together and people can come and go as they wish and hop on. I'll be doing some classes at some point. Carol and I will be doing some specific classes for sellers. That will be fun. Okay, that's good. I like that color together on there. All right, I'm sending, sitting that over here. Now, here is where I don't know about this. I did it different. Oh, maybe. What was I thinking? <laughs> um... Well, I guess I was thinking it would go like this, but is that even going to fit? 
Not really. But we're going to do it anyway. We'll finish it. Because I can, I can just make something else for the inside of there if I want. All right. So this has... That's what you go. Well, I don't know. Let's see. I guess if we make it flip this way. I'm going to cut that down. And then here. Yeah, I guess that'll work. All right, let's cut this down now. I'm going to cut this down at least. At least a half an inch. There. I think I have it much smaller. Oops. And let's cut off. That should do it, I think. Is it down? Yes, it is. All right. All right, so now we've got that. I'm just deciding, do I want, if it's gonna going to close like this, do I want the notebook? I guess I want the notebook on the top. And then do I want a little So let's just do this here. Now let's just play around with it. So this one, absolutely not. We can't do that. But we can do this one. And we could do, will this one work? Yes. And how about this little one? Okay. Well, Let's see here. This is going to need to be rounded so that it doesn't poke out. Yeah, and when you see the finished product, you're like, oh gosh, that looks really complicated. It's not. Not at all. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's pop this in first. So this needs to go here. Okay. So we're going to staple it. Uh oh, that didn't sound good. Oh yeah, it worked. All right, so while we start at the bottom, so we are going to glue this here. I have to have a different solution for wrapping this up. I can, I think I can just um, wrap something around it when it's closed and it'll be okay. See on this one how I did opposites? I Because I didn't really like that. I was struggling on finding things that really matched this wallpaper. All right, so that goes in. First, smooze it down. And then, I don't know, maybe I want to do a, I feel like I should do that one because it's prettier. Yep, I'm doing it. Do I have another, I have another one. All right, now we're just doing this one. And... Flipping it. Sorry, my arms are in the way. Where's my other paper clip? I don't know. Well, there's that. I would have been looking for that in a minute. That's cute. All right, now. Let me see what happens when I fold. Yeah, we're still okay. <clears throat> All right, so this one has to go down first. 
and I'm doing it upside down. I hope that doesn't get confusing. I have an onboarding meeting with someone and I have one tonight as well. Ooh, shoot. Is that gonna... Darn it. Well, I'm just gonna have to deal. Because I didn't round the corners. So I need to watch my time. All right, there we go. Now let's put another one. <clears throat> Which one should we do? I think I want that polka dot to show through, so I'm gonna do this one, yeah. So now we're just going to put this here. You know, the other thing I could do is I could uh, put some more of those snaps on the inside, but it might bulk it up just a little too much. All right, so here we go. Here it is. I need to fold that up. And it, like I said, it's a little bit too small to go in here, but I can figure something out. So I could just put a piece around here and have it as a standalone because I got all creative with it. I did, wasn't thinking that it, how it would fit in there. So we'll just do this for now. Come on. There we go, pretty little bow. And we can take those off now. And we can add this to it. <clears throat> we'll see if it holds it in there. I don't, I guess if we put it. At the bottom, maybe. Oops. Come on. Ooh, that's still kind of juicy. If we had a few more things in there, I think it'd be okay to sit in there. I mean, if it's just going as Happy Meal. Otherwise, I probably need a different solution. Um, but there we have it. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> we have, well, we should, we could quickly. I'm going to stick all of this inside of here because I think it would be fun to add all of that. This should be good and dry. And then spin it around. There we go. So we have one, two, and where's our third one? Right here. Three, which is much bigger but still beautiful. And our original, whoa, template. I need to do another one of these for a template instead of this one, because this one needs to be gifted to someone for sure. This one's too pretty to go in my template bin, but there we have it. I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope that you found that it was really pretty easy to make, even though it looks complicated. Let me put these up here, these measurements, one more time, just in case. And I have these extra pieces of um, that wallpaper, so maybe I'll add those in somehow too. All right. Well, with that, my friends, remember to take time to just be, and we will see you next time. Cheers.